Hey, welcome to the channel, friends. As always, man, I am stoked to see you. So I wanted to, to come out here into the wilderness and bring out a small land navigation kit, some items that you can think about putting into your kit so that you can get out into the wild and explore with some confidence. As we get going, if you want to master your field craft or develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date on some future content. Now, as we get going, I want to let you know everything that I have in my kit bag has been time tested and approved man both here in the continental United States as well as overseas multiple different deployments a lot of the things that I have on my body right now I've had for more than five or ten years and in fact a couple of them I've had for a little bit longer than that so I can tell you and I, and I put my stamp of approval on it for whatever that's worth to you and what it's all about at the end of the day is being able to go out into the wilderness with confidence knowing that you have the tools the equipment and the resources on your person to be able to work yourself out and be able to come back to where you started from safely, right? We're talking about mitigating risks. You don't need everything that I have in my kit bag. You could have more, you could have less. But you have what you need and you need what you have and, you, and you're trained and proficient with all of it. All right, so you're not going to see any digital devices I'm going to show you. I, I, I'm not opposed to GPS devices, right? I, I think they have their... They're extremely useful, right? They're very accurate, but I prefer to be a little bit more old school in my approach. I do layer things, and I'll talk about a pace uh, plan that you can put in your kit bag in a subsequent video and, and make it reliable to not only communications, but navigation and everything else that we're doing. But I do prefer to be a little bit more analog in my, in, in my skill set. Because I can use a, a dagger, right? I can use a GPS device. I can use a Garmin. I have a Garmin watch. I can use all of them. But what happens when that stuff fails? And to be honest with you, I just lo I love having a physical map in my hand and a compass and sitting out and, and, and enjoying and exploring the world. And I look forward to hearing what you have in your kit down in the comments below. So make sure you do that so we can keep this conversation rolling and continue to grow from each other. What has worked for you? What has been the best thing that, that you've had uh, as you're off and exploring? All right, so let's go ahead and drop the pack and we'll start to see what we got in this thing. Hey team, gonna take a short pause and remind you to check down in the description below for a link to any of the gear seen in the video as well as over a dozen lists on my Amazon Influencer page to help you organize and harden your kit. Back to the content. Now, I will start off to telling you uh, that the pack itself is a Tactical Taylor Flight Light Removable Operator Pack. I've had this thing for, I guess, going on 10 years now, and, and it served me well. I didn't buy it for this. I, I just kind of repurposed it. On the outside and dummy corded to my pack, I have a Kamanga compass. It's a standard lens attic compass, right? This thing's time-tested, man. Can't go wrong with it. Now off in my side pocket, I have some admin supplies here and I'd already moved my pencil and my paper, which are both very important things here. So, so everything I have in here is I do have a pen and a pencil. That way, all right, so two is one and one is none. I have a protractor. I have a piece of paper, something I can take my notes on, right? As well as a map. Now, when it comes to, to, to finding maps, I do have some other videos out there that will show you how to get onto USGS website and no, negotiate that and find maps for your local area. And then having something to write with and something to write on, man, I'm telling you, it's hands down. It's, it's so important to take notes more than just tick marks of what your pace count is. But maybe it's things that you're describing along the way. It's telling a story of where you've been so that you can find yourself again. Inside, I always carry a water bottle with me everywhere I go. This is a stain, stainless steel, a single walled. That way I can cook and purify it. And in addition to my Kamanga compass, I also have a Silva base plate compass. 
the old saying is two is one and one is none, and, and it couldn't be more true than even when we're doing something like doing some land navigation and having more than one compass. I haven't had this one that long, but so far I, I am enjoying it. Because this compass requires a tool to set the declination, I also carry that tool with me as well. And so when you get out and you're exploring, and maybe it's in an area that, that you haven't been at before, and you want to kind of leave some, some pebbles along the way, maybe it's setting up some way marks, something that you can work yourself back to, maybe something that you can shoot an azimuth back to, or, or just something the next time you come out, you just follow your, your breadcrumbs. What a lot of guys will use, and I'm one of those guys, is just some, just some range tape, right? Super inexpensive to get a, a roll of it, and it's highly reflective, super easy to see, and it contrasts in with the environment around us. So it's always something nice and handy to have. In addition to that, I also carry a couple range flags, and maybe you've seen these in an earlier video when I was off doing some overnight exploring. But I just made these by hand. You could use handkerchiefs, right? Use anything you got. But man, you can see this thing so easy. And I carry and I tie it up uh, with, with some bank line. Then just drop down in the pack. And when this thing is hanging up nice and high, it is so easy to see. A lot easier than uh, than the tape, and it's something that's a little bit easier to shoot an azimuth back to. Some other things you may want to have in your arsenal, maybe some, some ranger beads, something that you can use. I, I preferably, I like to use tick marks. Uh, I, that's why I carry a piece of paper, because uh, you never know when you're going to make a mistake pulling a, pulling a bead or something. And so I, I, don't, I don't use beads too often at all. I'll just make little tick marks down in, in my notebook. And I can take all my all my notes along the way. Maybe it's something that I've seen at that particular 100 meter interval. Whether it was a, a piece of range tape I put out, or a very significant tree, or something I can see on the way back. Hey, let me know what you think about the contents of the simple land nav kit. The one thing I didn't show you here is I do have a whistle, uh, and again, this is dummy corded to my pack. And you know, a whistle can be used for all kinds of things. I could use it to play Marco Polo with a battle buddy if I was out here, and uh, basically playing some hide and seek. I can also use it as an emergency uh, communications device as well, so, right? so all kinds of use. everybody so there you go so let me know what you think of the contents of this land navigation kit down in the comments below we will keep this conversation rolling if you enjoyed the content of the of the video make sure you smash that like button and if you want to stay up to date on some future content make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell and that way you'll get those uh, you'll get those notifications every time 
we're dropping in some videos out here. As always, until then, man, I appreciate you, you guys. You stay out there and you stay stoked.